In this video, we'll be demonstrating the electronic precision balance. This particular balance that we're showing is the EPB203. It has a weighing capacity of 200 grams by 0.01 gram. So that's one milligram. And this model, again, is the EPB203. There are three versions in the milligram series, uh, the first being the EPB-103, which is 100 grams by a milligram. Then there's the 203, which is 200 grams by a milligram. And the final model is the 303, which is 300 grams by a milligram. These models are a perfect alternative to someone looking to replace one of the Aculab VIC 123s or 303s or the Sartorius AY series, the AY 123 or AY 303. So, the balance you can see um, we have the 100 gram calibration weight that comes with this balance. This is just a, a steel chrome plated weight, the weight's made in China. Uh, there is no traceability. Uh, there is no stamping of what class it is either. So it's just a low-cost calibration weight that does the job uh, for calibrating this balance. You'll notice you have across here five buttons to control the balance. We have an on-off, a zero, a print, a unit key, and a tear key. Also, in the upper left hand corner we have a sprint level bubble so you can level the balance which is critical with any type of milligram balance or any scale needs to be level so that the force is perpendicular to the way cell um, to change the way modes is very simple you just press the unit key and you can see we can scroll through it so this here we have is ounces pounds Penny weight, troy ounces, carats, and then we have teal, and this is uh, grains. In grains, it goes to 0 0.02 grains. And then we have some foreign units, mummies, toll, and we're back to uh, grams. So to switch the weigh modes is extremely simple. Just press the button and that's it. Um, some other features with this uh, model is we have an all-glass draft shield. So most comparable models in this series uh, or, or in this category from other manufacturers would be a plastic draft shield. So here, this is a three-door glass draft shield where you can open it from the top, the left or the right side. So this is made out of glass. Um, the opening on this balance on the side, you get up to almost uh, four and a half inches. So if you have like a silicon wafer or something that's eight inch, it definitely would not fit in it. The draft shield is not removable. So it's a permanent draft shield, cannot be removed. The uh, scale does come with a splash guard. There's a plastic splash guard that's permanently affixed to the balance. Uh, it's not removable. I guess the only way to remove it is probably take an X-Acto knife and cut it off, but it comes with it, uh, so it would protect the scale. Uh, it does come with an AC adapter, and it also can be powered off of uh, six AA batteries. You have a nice large, this is a, a 3.85 inch diameter weigh-in platform, and I'll just try to Turn the balance over so you can get an idea on the bottom of this balance. Um, you can see you have four adjustable feet. And in the rear here, we have a battery compartment where you could put in your um, six AA batteries. On the rear of the balance, um, on the rear of the balance, you can see we have our AC power. And there is a 9-pin RS-232 interface. Um, it's a very basic milligram balance, low cost. And this is a strain gauge balance, similar to, again, the Aculab VIC-123 and the uh, 
Sartorius AY series. Um, to calibrate the balance, I'll just go over that briefly. Calibration is extremely, well, it's simple, but it's a little bit different compared to most balances. You do have to shut off the balance. You want to make sure your balance is level. The sprint bubble is uh, in the center there. And you would turn on the balance. So the balance shows, it does the power up sequence and it's counting down. And eventually the display will show a series of dashes. And at this point we want to hit the zero key. So as the balance counts down, two, one, and then dashes, we'll press the zero key once. You will see Cal that's displayed. And so now you want to press the, uh, let's see, so we see Cal on the button and you want to press the zero key again and it shows 100. Now this is configurable, so you can calibrate this with a 200 gram weight, a 50 gram weight, it is always recommended at least 50% of the weighing capacity. But to show you how to uh, change the weight, one would simply press the unit key to increase the increment. I'm sorry, press the unit key to move over one. So you can move over one, and if you wanted to increase it, you would um, press the tear key. So if you press the tear key, you can increase. So if you had, for example, 150 gram weight, you could calibrate it with 150. But this balance comes with a 100 gram weight, so we're just gonna leave it on 100. So once you have configured the balance for the calibration weight that you wanna use, you want to store that value. So when you're ready, we're gonna calibrate it with a 100 gram weight, we're gonna press the zero key. You'll notice the balance shows cal, and then there's going to be a random number. This is a number coming off the A to D converter. And once this number is somewhat stable, we are going to um, press the unit key. So the number is going to vary. Let me close this draft shield a little. And once the number, so we're at 5456. Once we have a stable reading, we want to press the unit key. So we're gonna press the unit key. The balance stores that, then you have the dashes and the 100 flashes. We're gonna put the 100 gram weight in the center of the platform. And the balance stops flashing and returns to the unit weight that we were in, which is gram. So the 100 gram weight, We've now calibrated the balance. I'm going to hit the tear key. Put the 100 gram weight on. And then you have it. Um, so other features on this balance. Again, uh, a nice feature here is you could change the weigh unit. We'll just say we want to leave the weigh unit in pound. Uh, we'll go to penny weight. And so the unit is in penny weight, the balance is in penny weight right now. And if we took the weight off, and if we were to shut off the balance, when the balance powers back up, it will again go through the power up sequence, but it will remember the last weigh mode. So when this balance finishes the power up sequence, you will see it will be in penny weight. Now, many Comparable models in the marketplace will always return to grams. So each time you'd have to change the weigh mode. But not with this model here. It will remember the last weigh mode. And you'll notice now we are in penny weight. Um, let's see what other features. Well, again, this is a strain gauge based scale. So again, I want to just put this into uh, grains. So I'm in grains. And I just want to give you an idea of the performance of the balance. Again, strain gauge base. So strain gauges over a period of time will start to drift, but this balance does perform um, very nice from when I've uh, experimented with the balance. So I'm going to put on my weigh dish, and I have this uh, power, it's a power trickler. And what I just want to try to show is I'm going to be dropping 
some powder onto the scale and I just want to try to show you the performance of the scale and how the scale um, pits, pits up or senses the weight change. So again, if you are a gun and ammo person, I mean this is, if you're a, a long range shooter, this would not be, uh, if you want to get it exactly to a kernel, this, this uh, a milligram balance is not sensitive enough. But what I'm trying to just demonstrate here is as I drop items onto the platform, you could see the performance of the balance, the response time. So I don't know if I can, I'll zoom in a little bit more and try to uh, show you as I'm dropping powder on this platform, you can look at the, the trickler, dispense the powder out and then see. So. There is a little bit of lag, and that's typical of a strain gauge altogether, but it does, once I stop, you're not seeing the balance drift around. So it's a decent quality. I mean, this would be an excellent scale for uh, the school industry, uh, for science classes, uh, for students, where the science or chemistry teacher just wants the students to understand um, the basic concepts of an electronic balance and to be able to weigh in increments of uh, one milligram. So again, as I drop powder onto this uh, and I stop, you can see the performance of the balance. So we're Precision Weigh and Balances and if you visit our website at either balances.com or scaleman.com, you can see the full offering of digital scales that we have. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks for watching this video.